Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel. We are being currently sponsored by the amazing MMO game Worlds of Warships. You like to be a pirate just like me. You like to hit like an absolute truck and destroy enemy ships. You like to have amazing graphics and intense battles. Then this is the right game for you. What are you waiting for? Download the game from the link in the description down below, which is going to be a huge spot for me and also give you access of 7 days free premium as well as 2.5 million credits. Thank you so much in advance and have fun in the epic battles on the sea. Today we're gonna take a look into the Dwarven faction in the Eden mod for BFME 2 The Rise of the Witch King in a one-on-one -on -one against a hard army on the beautiful map West Mnet. Wish me luck because I'm still struggling big time in this mod, <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun too. I like the ring heroes, I like the game interaction quite a lot. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Dwarven Castle. Oh my goodness, look at this beauty. As resource buildings, oh wait a second, we need to choose one of the three following factions. Erebor, Iron Hills, or Eretz Luin. You know what, I'm gonna choose Eretz Luin. Which is gonna give us the chance to recruit nobody else but the Torin Oaken Shield himself. So let's build two mineshafts to begin the game with and use our units to capture as many settlements outside as we possibly can. There is a layer in the middle, as you can see. There is also a layer protecting those settlements. And that's why we need to capture these settlements first, which are for free, you know? And also, what you want to do at the beginning of the game is closing your gate. Very important, because they're gonna get inside the jeans as soon as they have the chance. It's a war glare! Alright, so we're gonna creep, we're gonna, we're gonna try to creep this one right up. But first of all, buy this, the lumber mill. Actually, build mineshafts. There is another settlement here, actually. Three settlements on the right. Oh, look. Oh, what? How did he get inside? Oh my goodness, how did he get inside? This guy is going ham on me. We need to close the gate again. I was closing the gate, but he was so extremely fast. He was actually sending his units straight through the middle. Hold on a second, let me pick the rallying call from the spellbook to kill him a bit faster. Before he actually gonna destroy our uh, citadel, which is gonna be painful. He was even using rallying call on the soldiers of Gondor. And they are destroying us, the soldiers. Look at their damage, dude. That's crazy and scary at the same time. Okay. So let's also go for a counterattack in this case, right? That's all we can really do. I believe we will be able to save. But that's the proof that you have to close the gate the second you are able to get out, you know? Very important. Let's build one more mineshaft and then we will also start creating and recruiting some units. We have three settlements outside, which is pretty nice. The enemy is here. Oh, he's trying to creep the troll with soldiers. That's not gonna work out for you, my friend. So let's go around. Grab your weapons. Alright, uh, now we can also build the Hall of Warriors to recruit some units. As for heroes, we have only Bilbo Baggins and Thorin Oaken Shield. Bilbo is quite cost efficient, which means we can already recruit him. And once again, close the gate. Okay, you know what? Let's try to creep this one. Let's use the Dwarven Sprint. Nah, it's gonna be only a movement speed boost, but we don't need right now. Let's put Bilbo inside the jeans. Uh, he has the chance of Consul becomes invisible when standing still. And also, I'm going on adventure. Bilbo tracks full of join and again in, on adventure. For 10 seconds, he deals 25% more damage and moves 25% faster. But we don't need right now. Also, this one can be creeped. Um, actually, we are able to creep this one with the Guardians all alone. Let's recruit some archers first for the defense and pikemen to protect them. But first of all, let's build one more mineshaft inside the base to just boost the resource income to the next level. Creep this one ASAP. But before creeping this, you know what we can do? We can get this mill. Please don't attack the mill. Please don't. Sometimes they actually automatically target this and they are able to destroy it at the building progress, which is going to make us to lose the 200 resources, you know? Hey, 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 hey. Don't, 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 don't. Look at the range from this work. Leave me alone, my friend. Leave me alone. We need also one pikeman, definitely. Creep this one. You also creep this one. Bilbo can join the party maybe around this area. You've got the wrong puppet. 
I'm you are not the wrong habit, man. I, I trust you. I so trust you, Bilbo Baggins. I'm just like Gandalf. When Gandalf was trusting you, then he has probably potentially a reason for that. Mineshaft, and then, you know what, we got not this. Mineshaft is, uh, why? Okay. And then we're gonna also build the forge, which is gonna give us the ch chains. The Swarks are scary and hungry. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. You know what? I will, I will allow you to destroy this one for now. Or am I? Or am I gonna allow you to destroy this one? What happened here? I was not paying attention, dude. That's all crazy. All right, so we, we will not be able to save this mineshaft, unfortunately. That's why we need to move from the other side. And there is another warg layer. Right, I'm, I'm gonna allow this. Look at the range from the warg, man. It's, that's scary. There is a troll in the middle. What is happening here? Let's use rallying call. What is this? We're gonna kill them, right? Just peel back with the one who's getting attacked. Actually, that gave me a ping attack at the same time, both of them. Get more guardians, like more units all the time. Spam units as much as you potentially can. And then we're actually gonna go for this one inside first. This is gonna make the buildings inside the base level 2. Which means 25% more resources from the farms inside. And also the farms inside are normally protected a bit better, you know? So we need to go inside here. Okay, we are in a safe spot, kinda, for now. We have now enough money for this. Let's go. And get these units out to be able to destroy this farm right after. Hey, archers, please. It's a 2v1 situation, man. Why are you losing? Please win this fight. Okay. We are in a good spot. You know what? We can use the Hobbit to eventually take down this farm. It's gonna take ages, but we can, you know, instead of doing nothing, it's better than just standing still, I guess, you know? And also store rooms are gonna be important, but not, not for now. From this, we are able to recruit Balin, Bofor, and Dvalin. Dvalin is gonna be our choice. I like Dvalin. I was also in love with him in the films. So just chase him down with the archers. Eventually, they're gonna hit level 2, which is gonna be a good power spike. Actually, Bilbo is dealing a respectable amount of damage. Kill this pikeman. Kill this pikeman. We need to peel back, though. Destroy this farm. Get more frontline. Archers. We need to dis uh, defend this. Wait for the reinforcements to be able to outnumber them, especially... Archers need to be in, in a safe spot. This the front line can be, you know, hold ground stands, you know. All right, we are getting more units. That's good. More units are even needed than that. And heroes are kind of expensive, you know. Especially Dwalin is two and a half thousand almost. You know what I'm saying? Like that's pretty, pretty expensive. So let's go for the level three inside first before anything else. Eventually, he's gonna be able to take it down. Our front line is getting bullied by the archers, but it's fine. We will get more and more units on the field all the time. Are these archers? Yes, they are archers, so put them inside one more time. Hey guys, you wanna destroy this farm, man? Come on. Destroy this farm. And, like, we have constant fight over here, and he's gonna eventually get some heroes now. Or in a bit. Archers attack. Okay, the farm has been taken down. That's good. We need more front line, though. And also heroes. What is that? Um, mass slaying. This one is building destruction. And this one is good for hero sport. So I believe uh, Balin is going to be our first choice. He has ranges already. The elite archers. Holy quackamole. Let's build a mineshaft here. And creep this one right after to get more money. We have now enough money for Balin. Let's recruit him right after. Put these units inside the jeans. I'll be all right. Just Let's micro around. Micro around. Let's, let's try to escape. Alright. Uh, Hero is on his way. Oh, we are command points cap. We need to get the storerooms thing. To get more command points. Very important. Come on, Pikes and Guardians. You can do it. Get more units around here. Like he's chasing us all the time. But it looks like Bilbo is very... What is that? 
Like he has already siege weapons? Holy guacamole, man. Okay, he was not even buying this one, you know what? Oh, never mind. We lost the money, dude. That's very unlucky. That's what I thought. Okay, we got invisible. Very good. Let's build a mine shaft. And I believe we need to rotate to the other side of the map. I believe he was also able to kill the troll layer in the middle of the map already. So rooms. It's gonna give us time to save a bit more money. Alright, you guys, please destroy or tank the front line of the tower guards. Tower guards are falling down as well. One by one. Let's use this to move a bit faster. You guys, kill the farms, please. That's all you need to do. Deny the opponent a lot of resource. And can be four power points collected. We can go for the undermine, which is going to give us even more, uh, you know, mobility when we need it. Look, maybe around this side. I don't know. Archers. This. Give them number two, number one. We have now almost enough money for a Dwalin. And let's go for him. I want to take a look into all the Dwarven heroes if I potentially can. And Balin is already on the field. Rune Shield. An allied Dwarven hero from Erad's Luin is protected by Rune Shield that grants the hero 25% armor and speed as long as the rune is in effect. Attacks against protected heroes weaken and destroy Rune Shield. Alright, so he's like a sportive hero. Nearby allied heroes are inspired by Balin, Balin's courage, making them inflict 25% attack damage and gain 25% faster experience for 10 seconds. So it's like everything is uh, kind of depending on the, on the units you have around, you know? Okay, let's tank this a little bit. I mean, he has nothing to kill me yet, so... And also, what we need to do is get the outside farms to level 2 for more money. Now we have two heroes, that's great. We can use them here to creep this war clear, potentially. Kill this. Let's use Rallying Call here. Kill the archers inside the base. Put pressure on him, you know? Alright, you guys get out from this. Oh, call him, call him, call him, call him, call him, call him. Oh, he was invisible. But we already know that Column is around somewhere. And we need to get Torin. Oh, our front line was going inside the jeans. He was closing the gate, of course. Oh, man. Let, you just go inside, guys. You creep this. There we go. Beautiful. And you know what? We're going to now try to save for the big boy. For 3,500 resources. I think we can do it. Okay, you know what, guys? Let's go out. Let's go out. It's a bit too risky, I guess. You guys line up like that for a better battle formation. You creep. Our archers, they need to... We have only one... No, we have a couple of archers left. Alright, archers in the aggressive stance. Very important. Old crown stands for the unit in the front. The creep can be now finished. We have almost the money for Torin. Hopefully Go Gollum is looking around somewhere around this side. We were able to see him, but again, he's going to get invisible all the time. It's going to be hard for us to catch him. And now we have almost the money. So what we can do is we can use this maybe on this guy. Who has also weapon switch. Click to switch between the Wallens, Fearsome, Warhammer, and his axes. Okay, his axes hit uh, too close by enemies and can be swung faster. All right, all right, all right. Sounds good. Keep fighting here. Kill these units, please. Oh, oh we're gonna we're gonna lose this fight eventually. He's out spamming us, but we have enough money now for this dude. And also more store rooms are needed. As well as getting the farms outside level 3 is very important. Creep this. Nice. Level 2 Balin. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Look, he's actually uh, waiting for the Hobbit to get stealth, you know? Uh, to get invisible uh, visible again. That's what I'm trying to say. We are able to hold ourselves. So let's peel back a little bit. Hopefully we're going to be able to re you know, recover our time. Slowly but surely. Oh, there is also army from the open end. How did they get there? That's what I want to know. Can you use this on multiple heroes at the same time? Not sure. Potentially you can. Thorin is going to be there very soon. We can make like a Dwarven hero army, you know? Get all the Dwarven heroes on the field. Um, for example, the Bofur is the only one missing. 
Torin is gonna be on the field soonish. And we were able to defend this area too. We won't, we won't let him to destroy this farm. Trust me on that one. He's gonna now limit test Torin. Killy and Philly. Summons his nephews, Killy and Philly, side by side. Okay, that's pretty nice and promising. Let's find out and let's summon them. Now we have permanent... Look how many heroes we have now all of a sudden, including Bilbo Baggins. We have six heroes and the number seven is coming soon. Bofford is also here, nice. It's always nice to see those faces from the films, you know? Baruch Kazad. Dubekar. Oh, oh, eagles are coming. What? Okay, guys, you win, you win. Oh, my goodness. The thing is, the heroes are getting one shot from the giant eagles. Especially the summoned ones. He, and he was able to summon three eagles at the same time. Okay, this has to be level three now. Hold on a second. Let's get this to level three. Now we can go out here. Okay, now we have all the all the heroes. We can now fight for Bilbo Baggins a little bit. You guys defend. Oh, he has catapults already. That's not good. The mineshaft is going to be definitely taken down. Are we missing any more heroes? We're going to find out. Remember, there is a second product or resource building radar available. That's the stone mason. So let's build this up. And maybe that's going to give us the chance to also recruit some more heroes from this. Balin is thinking something. What is shooting at? Oh, here's Peregrine Took. Look, Peregrine Took, guys. It's a ma madman trying to kill our hero. Look, he's now running wild. What is going on? You're full of a Took. Okay, the building is building up. That's good. This is also even saved. The eagle is not dealing. The eagles are not dealing that much damage to the buildings for sure. We have six power points collected, which can be used either for burn or the Gandalf. You already know me. I'm gonna choose Gandalf, of course. And perfect opportunity to limit test. Fight, fight, fight. Gandalf is here now. Everything is stunned around him, actually. Let's see Gandalf's power. What is that? Gandalf ignites pine. Okay. I, I did use it. I mean, okay. Gandalf launches sp Sparkling Dragon. I don't know what this does, but we will find out eventually. Do I have your word? So, uh, you guys capture this mineshaft, which can not only be used for getting reinforcements on the field, but also to eventually safety heroes like build uh, like this guy for example who is quite low so oh it's gonna be hard to reach out what is Kelly able to do what is this barrage happening all the time I'm, I'm actually curious about this from this building we are able to buy some upgrades okay what is what is this guys can somebody explain me please in the comment section down below you see this sh shoots we need to defend this. Oh, Killy is like a Legolas kind of thing, you know? No one what is that? For Let's right click on it. Let's right click on this one as well. You can right click on this one. Get also him back on the, on the menu. And you, my friend, can capture this farm at the bottom left side, close to the opening space. Killy has been taken down. I believe these heroes you are able to summon are not the strongest one in the game. And now we can also buy all the upgrades because we can afford it. Just keep fighting here. Because the good the good thing is we are also gonna be able, what is that? Look, he can even he can also summon more heroes like Bomber and Before can be summoned. Very interesting. Yes, also the Tremor who which is looking like the Shake Foundation. Dwarven undermine the target area. Enemies in the target area will be thrown down. Okay. Oh, we lost the very... No, we didn't lose him. I don't know how he actually went there. What? Let's go. Let's move a bit faster, my friend. You are on the on your adventure. Just keep fighting here. They are actually quite... Uh... You know what? You guys move around this side, please. And you need to get in safety. I don't mind about the others, you know? They can die if they want to. Kills nearby he heroes. Oh, nice. Look how tanky they are. You guys, they need to kill this catapult, man. 
Get a mine shaft here and get invisible right after. We have so much money now. Holy quacamole. Everything is also level 3. Um, yeah, we have all the upgrades too. I think it's time to find or to try to find the one ring, guys. I think it's time. Okay, guys, you peel back now, please. Torin is level 4. Does he have anything? King in exile. Uh, friendly units near Torin gain resources from fallen enemies and cannot be knocked down. It's like a passive. Oh, it's not a passive thing. It's an active thing. Balin, what are you doing, my friend? I told you to go back. Did I? I didn't. My bad. Okay. Let's use your rune. Let's kill... Balin, you run. Balin, please listen to me. Balin, can you use this on Torin Oaken Shield? Let's try it. Let's find out, guys. Hold on a second. Where is Torin? Torin, you come here so I can find you a bit easier. There we go. That's Torin. Okay, we can actually. Balin, you get to in, you get in safety. You are quite low. Level five is unlocked, boys. Oin and Klein. And we have now even more heroes on the on the side. That's crazy. Like everybody is able to summon stuff. And also Balin was able to get in safety, which is very very good. Okay, so now. Get all the all the all the items now. Get the store rooms up to maximum. I believe the max is like 1,500. We are slowly but surely also getting more units. Let's spam units now. We have so much money. We have like so many outs outside farms. We are pretty much rich. Let's right click on whatever is clickable. Powerful bow blow, which uh, with a mighty strike, Wallin blows his enemies out of his way. All right. Oh, he was using it against Peregrine Tuk, who is trying to kill Thorin. <laughs> okay, that's funny. And you can't also click on these heroes, by the way. You can't. Like, you can't control them. They're going to be always on the side from the guy who was summoning them in the first place, you know? So there is an outpost, which we might actually capture now. Just to see how the outpost from this faction is looking like. This is under attack, which is kind of fine. We have the majority of the map under our control. We have a lot of money. Uh, okay, let's get them all the upgrades too. You can now either build the outpost or the town hall, town hall which is going to give us the chance to recruit even Bart. Alright, kill this farm. This is going to go down though, unfortunately, but it's fine. The trebuchets are kind of annoying to deal with. The upgrades are getting currently purchased, so it's going to just take some time. What is that? Unlocks the use of the small build pilot in the front of the... Oh, okay. This one, I thought this is like a design thing, but you can even use them by unlocking them. Hold on a second. We need to defend this area, boys. This has been taken down. Here we are able to also recruit some bowmen and everything. Okay. Nice. We can do that. And try to defend this area. While these dudes are gonna defend this area. Alright, guys. So you are the defenders around this side. Very important. Nice. I don't mind if this is going down, though. I don't care about this too much. We have almost six power points collected. We can... Weapon of the Art... Weapon Art of the Dwarves. Dwarven units with heavy armor and forged blades, fire arrows, gain additional 15% damage, and... It's a passive thing. Okay. And the Forge Research up... Oh, nice. So it's gonna be fast upgrades, you know? 15% faster, which is quite significant, actually. Benakaria can be purchased. Get more units on the field. And the store rooms, I believe we can upgrade this one more time. At least one more time. If not two more time. I believe the limit is 1,500. You can have more than 1,500, but we can still do that twice, you know? Okay, guys. You need to try to defend this. Would be nice if we can protect this one, now. The thing is, you can always use on this mineshaft the men, the defenses, which is gonna make this level 3 mineshaft shoot, but during this time you are not able to get any resources from this, you know? So you need to be smart about it. Let's go to the bottom right side. Our heroes are doing a phenomenal job. They are leveling up like crazy. What, what are you doing here? <laughs> Let's summon them one more time. Oin and Gloin. Oin and Gloin. Okay, level... What is happening when you are level 10? Earth Hammer with level 8. Dwalin jumps up and slams his hammer into the ground, uh, throwing back enemy units and damaging them. Doesn't damage structures. Okay, it's only good against units. 
Uh, Veterans of Kazadum Process. Mithril in a Forge. What? How can I get this? Um, I don't know. Can I do something around, uh, with that in the fortress? I don't think so. And now we are also able to build statue well around the fortress, around the citadel. I think it's going to be the same here, maybe. Now we have really strong units, guys. We also captured this one. That's good. Uh, let's buy this outpost right after. Look at him, guys. This guy is actually hitting like a truck. I like that. Now we are going to buy the buy outpost around this side. The forged, blades are ready. the forged blades are ready. You know what? I want to I wanna find Gollum, too. Let's look for Gollum in the meantime. We can also get him all the upgrades he needs. Here we are able to eventually go for the siege works for some siege weapons. And here we can also build a tower. Well, maybe. And another tower for the defense as well as one more mineshaft. Okay, this hobbit though. Peregrine Tuk is trying to kill me. We have a huge army. Just open the gates now. Just open the gate. And you guys move out in the middle. Kill this Peregrine Took, please. He's being annoying now for a really long time. Banner. Um, yeah, just look around, I believe. There's some angels. You can use it on him to make him a bit more tanky. It's all about it, level 8. I would like to see this level 8 ability. We have a huge army here too, man. Holy moly. Okay. We have full map control. Oh, the eagles are coming. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Kill the eagles. Kill the eagles. Let's close the gate regardless. Oh, that there's also army, but it's not as strong as our army. Trust me on that one. Okay, guys. So we need to get demolisher. Hey, hey, hey. Level eight, but he's down a lot. Like he's quite low. So let's peel back for now. What is? Oh, he was summoning army of the dead already. Holy guacamole! That's annoying. Faramir, the captain of Gondor. But the army of the dead can't do much. There is nothing to kill inside the base yet. Find big Gollum, dude. Come on now. You need to look for Gollum, please. Maybe he's behind the base or something. I'm going to even use Gandalf for that. Oh man, where is Gollum? Please show me where Gollum is. Very goodness. We have a huge army here, man. Holy moly. Let's give them fire. Heavy armor. Make them stronger. We have demolishers now. Let's go ham. You can't attack the... Can I use this? Deploy, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's just break it, I guess. Earthshaker. I'm looking for... Gandalf, look for Gollum. There's hundreds of them. Rumors have begun to spread. Where is Gollum when we need him? We've seen for 60 years. We're busy now. Keep it clear. Okay, it's building up actually quite fast. We need to kill this catapult, guys. We are breaking the wall like it's nothing. Earthshaker, find out how strong this can be. I would love to see Thorin Oaken Shield with the One Ring, you know? I would really love to see that. Let's summon Oin and Gloin next to his side. And then kill the farm a bit faster this way. Oh, he's summoning a lot now. All of a sudden, he's summoning a lot. Let's give them all the defense they need to make them as strong as we possibly can. Break this, break this, break this. Okay, we have also a huge army here. Go be behind. Look for the golem. Look for the golem. 
Our heroes are leveling like crazy. What is Thorin able to do now with level 7? Oaken Shield. Thorin wields an Oaken branch as a shield, making him invulnerable for all damage for 10 seconds. With level 10, King of the Dwarves, Thorin Oaken Shield is crowned King. New abilities are available and Thorin gains enchanted attributes. He's dead. Somebody is killing him in a second. Who is killing him that fast? Holy moly. Why? Run, Thorin. You can do it. Summon them and run. Run, you fool. Will you follow me? Will you follow me one last time? Perhaps the must was people. I mean, why we are getting crushed here? What's going on? We lost a lot. Holy moly, man! Where's our army at? Make more archers, bowmen. Really do. They're after our buildings. Actually, it's not even that come to think. Please get inside the jeans. Just point the way. Fine. Bring me. Um, come on now, bring me, finally, the Gollum. Where is the Gollum at? Kelly, Philly, and Thorin are healed by 1000 hit points. Oh, why didn't you say that before? This guy can also use this? If he asks me a question, I have to give him the answer. Run. Okay, now we can use it actually twice. So, wait, use, you use first. And you use right after. Look, now we are we are kind of healed up again. You know what? Where is the dude? If he asks me a question, I have to give him the answer. Wait, not this guy. This guy was it. Oh, he was not nearby. Oh, you can't. It's not targeted, dude. That's the problem. Level nine. Level ten is needed. Come on, we need only one more. Why is it so hard to get to this ten? Okay, you guys break. He's even repairing all the walls he lost, you know? We lost also one farm, unfortunately, but it's okay. This one is gonna be protected. No problemo. We gotta keep an eye on the on the main heroes. These are... I think we lost one of them, right? Yeah, we lost... We lost one, no? I have a feeling that we lost one of them. Did we only have four at the first place? What is this barrage coming all the time? I don't get it. Just peel back for now. We have army here, but... The problem is their their main task was to find the one ring bearer, and that's of course still Gollum. Now we have cat no, catapults doing a phenomenal job. He has no defense around this side. I don't mind about him dying. Headshot. Oh, he's he's gone. No more headshot. We have archers now. Let's open the gate. Let's build towers. Yeah, I don't know. We can do whatever really. Let's move through the middle. You guys can defend this level 9. Infli inflict heavy damage on an enemy nearby. Enemies flee and nearby allied heroes gain twice the effect. Okay. So it's like a sportive hero, definitely. But, I mean, somebody of you guys need to let me know in the comment section down below. How can I get this purchased Dwarven Mithril Mail? How can I get this? Level 10. Okay, now he's the boy. He's the king now. King under the mountain. Friendly units in large radius gain resources from the fallen. Okay. And then he has also the Oaken shield. I mean, everything is the same, right? But he has some protection around himself. Can I still give him the rune? Yeah, I can. So he's gonna have double double shields now. Watch. Boom. <laughs> Look at him, guys. Look at the design of the Oaken shield, too. That looks amazing. With a huge army here. They are still not able to find the One Ring. And four Chinitsli. More catapults, more siege. No problemo. You know what? We are command points kept. I want to get battle wagons. And then just look around and try to find... You can listen to this ...the Golem. We have full map almost. We have almost full map, as you can see and tell. Let's defend this. Build the mineshaft here for 400 resources. And also use the heroes for scouting. I mean, he's inside and they are inside now. Charge attack, let's use it on the enemy units. Level 3 Bilbo Baggins. The treasures of the Master Thief. Bilbo the Master Thief exp exposes his treasures, okay? Bilbo, you can do it, my friend. Bilbo, you're gonna die. 
Debo, run, run. I changed my mind. I won't let you die this time. Get invisible, my friend. I mean, he's falling apart now. He's falling apart now. So, <laughs> he's falling apart. But I would, it would, it would be a shame, you know, if he can't find out. Did we actually miss out something? No, we didn't. Come on, battle wagon. You guys build a mineshaft here. Why do you come to the gates of the king onto the mountain on for war? Just kill, uh, kill everything. Weapons. Buy this. Weapons. Buy this, come on, come on. Look how tanky this Peregrine took us. Gandalf was flaming, flaming him hard, you know? I don't mind about losing this catapult, you know? He has no money anymore, I believe. He's kind of broke, even though the, the hard armies are cheating always. From my grandfather to my father. Come on, Gollum, where are you at? You was around this side the last time I saw you, but I didn't have my ring hero on the field by the time. I've begun to spread. The dragon Smaug has not been seen for 60 years. Battle guns. Why can I not buy any upgrades on this one? I don't get it. Oh, we have even so many units inside. Holy moly. You guys check this area. For the worst case. Normally he's hiding around. Let's build some towers. Because they are also able to see that normally. Like the invisible units around. Hopefully. Oh boy. You're right. I often think of back end. Let's build a travel camp. Maybe we can also recruit some units from this one. I'm sorry, do I know you? Weapons wars, weapons. Loyalty. No heroes. Battle wagon, come on now. I am listening. Check this top right corner. You would not survive in the wild. Everything's trapped in. Hmm. Easy girl. Where is the ring where is the ring bearer, boys? I can't find them anymore. What is this army here? We have also a lot of power points collected. Let's go for the summon citadel, maybe. Let's summon it in the middle of the map. Can I? I can. What can I do with that? This is gonna be like in BFM2 or Rise of the Witch King, not sure. You will find out. Yeah, you can just recruit units from it. You can also build catapults around it. But he has not the line, uh, launch the mighty catapult thing, doesn't exist. Oh man, I don't know what to say. Mm, I don't know what to say. We can't find the things. You're right. I often think of back end. Archers of Dale. Please kill this catapult. You can listen to this Well, well, well. I think it is how it is. Um, then it's gonna be without the ring hero, unfortunately. Uh, I was I was actually looking forward to find the one ring, but Gollum just doesn't want to be found in this game, I believe. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, it was not even close, actually. Maybe I'm gonna, you know, tune up the difficulty from hard to brutal for a bit more challenge. I was struggling a lot uh, in the last couple of videos, but this one was kind of easier. The power of the dwarves, maybe, or just uh, us getting a bit better and better and better. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where Gollum is, guys. I tried, I tried my best to find him. I found him. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a dog. Oh my goodness! I thought this is Gollum. <laughs> Look, this dog around. No way. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Come on, guys! Come on, please find the Gollum one more time, one time in your life. Run, little one. Okay, nice. I don't know if he's in the middle of the map. I don't think so, right? No, he's also not in the middle of the map. Uh, nah, yeah. Well, 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 well. Go inside then. Go inside the jeans. You also go inside the jeans, guys. Just finish him off. That's all we can really do now. Just gonna check this area one more time. And if he's not here... We're gonna go and finish the game. If you see how we can always use the mineshaft and get Thorin there ASAP, you know? Oh, battle wagon equipment. We, we missed this one, that's why. My bad. Gollum! 
Show yourself. Stop hiding. Stop hiding, Gollum. Gollum doesn't want to drop the ring. It's his precious at the end of the day. Baruch Kazad. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dubekar. Even Bilbo Beggins is on the adventure mode, so he's gonna go inside the jeans too. I'm very sad that we were not... Oh, we were not even able to recruit King... Oh, no. We needed to build, uh, I believe, this one. Yeah. For the hero Bart. Bart, not even brains. Bart. The real Bart, you know? From the films. But anyways, guys, it was still a fun game. Uh, I liked the Dwarven Infection, actually. With the Mineshaft connection system, it's pretty nice. Everything is falling apart, as you can see and tell. The base from man... Like, the age of man is over, the age of the dwarves has come. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me also know in the comment section down below which faction you would like to see in the next video. And if you want to, you know, see me more uh, streaming and casting BFME games, you can also check me out, check me out on my Twitch channel uh, in the description down below, as well as my second YouTube channel, which is for the Twitch highlights, if you missed this one. Every Twitch live stream is going to be uploaded also in the second YouTube channel. GG, well played. Heart has been defeated. Not that hard anymore, huh? Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. As always, keep hitting like a track and stay beyond standards. Peace out.